But you have to remain absolutely fearless. Because being fearless knits programming for you that overrides everyone's information fields around them. Being fearless is such an absolutely powerful temporal phenomenon that it affects every aura that you come in contact with. Basically, the informed field of the individual who fears nothing is instantly perceived in the informed fields of others and they react to it and they respond to it. You create such a power, powerful auric dynamic field that everyone around you either sinks, which are other fearless individuals, and they respond to you with interest, or they flip their polarity and they respond to you, even if they don't do it outwardly, they respond to you in fear. Fearlessness is understood by, by the simulacrum because fearlessness creates endorphins, endorphin readings, your hormonal, your hormonal readings spike up, the simulacrum can analyze all that and know what's going on. And then we, whatever you do, you walk with pride, you act with pride, uh, you speak with confidence. Whatever it is you do is an act. Remember what Jesus said, faith without works is dead. And remember how this, what the simulacrum responds to, Fictions become fact. You have nothing to be confident for. But the emanating of confidence creates an informed field that polarizes the entire environment around you. And everyone responds. They either sink with you or they are repelled by you, which is called fear or intimidation. The simulacrum then weaves reality tunnels right then and there that comport with what you're doing. Just like that. To being fearless is an actual is actually a type of faith. You don't have to be a big badass dude. You can be a 95 pound, 87 year old woman, and you can be absolutely fearless. And you're going to be really surprised what the simulacrum is going to do for you. We've all seen the movies where that one little old lady walks across the street and there ain't a single car that hits her. You understand? In the personal, we can knit our own existence, but in the collective, we cannot. I get this question all the time in, in the comments because people are having a, tr have, having a hard time understanding. We live in multiple different universes at the same time. and This is why in the personal, Jason Brashears is immune. There's no one going to kill me. I'm not going to get assassinated. I'm not going to die on my motorcycle, although I should many times. I said, I'm not going to have a, an accident in my van. I'm not going to uh, piss off the wrong person and get knifed in the gut. I'm not doing any of those things at all. This is who I am. I am going to put out a message until I am no longer relevant. I'm going to continue to do this. It does not matter what's going on around me. It doesn't matter if... The police are kicking in doors all around me. Whatever happens to me is 100% is dependent on me. I don't care what the world's going through. This is why I've never really... Uh, I don't respond on Archaic's Facebook group when I, was, when I was on Facebook. I just didn't respond to all the fear-mongering. People sending me all these posts and people making all these comments about, oh my God, the, uh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. You know, I'm just, I just don't respond to it. It's not a part of my existence. What you resist persists. That is a spiritual law. It is a mechanism of the simulacrum. If you resist something, you are creating the informed field that there's a resistance. And the simulacrum is going to create that resistance for you. Same principle applies. Faith without works is dead. If I believe opposition exists, then opposition will appear. As simple as that. Because we live, in a, we live in a universe of negative default programming, a copy of a real universe, we have to create lies. We have to lie to reality in order for reality to return it back in quantum collapse as fact. It's that simple. We have to wrap our heads around the very fact that everything in this universe is backwards from what it should be. We are spiritually intuitive beings and we know that this is all wrong. But in order to play the game while we're here, that's what we have to do. Will the Oversoul punish us for it? Hell no. No pun intended.
But no, because it's assumed and it's understood that in traversing through the dark, you're going to get your feet scraped. It's understood. The Oversoul, the Oversoul has never attached all the baggage religions have. Man has attached all these ideas and concepts to God that do not exist. They are entirely man-made and created. 